applications. In this video, we'll discuss how we can create a site collection and what are the different site collection templates available in the SharePoint 2016. So in SharePoint, we know that we can create a site collections under that we can create a subsites and under subsite also we can create subsites and under that also we can able to create the subsites. So when you are creating a site collection, when you are creating a subsite and we have a different type of site templates available by default and which is provided by Microsoft and which we can able to create a simple site collection with a multiple functionality inside that we have a different uh, types of templates. Those are like team sites, developer sites, project sites, community sites, document center, record center, enterprise search center, publishing portals, and enterprise wiki sites also and we have the e-discovery center. So we'll see each and every template and we'll discuss about the difference between the major sites and what is the advantage with that particular template and why Microsoft introduced in the SharePoint that we'll discuss. So for that I'm opening SharePoint 2016 SharePoint Central Administration. So when you go to the SharePoint Central Administration, we have a different sections under that like we have application management, system settings, monitoring, backup and restore, security, upgrade and migration, general application and so on so so on so. So to create a site collection, we can direct we can go to application management. Under that, we have create site collection. You can directly have this option here, or you can go to the application management. When you open the application management, under that we have a create site collection option. So here we have create site collection option. When you click this one, it will open a new window. So in this window, we have couple of options. First. Here we have an option to select the web application. Now currently I'm using this Rishan Solutions web application. And this is a place where you can enter the title and the description. Description is optional, but title, we need to enter the title. It's a mandatory one. And we have the web address and it will show the web application URL and also it shows the managed path. Now I have only one managed path. So that's why it's showing this. And we can also able to create a, uh, another managed path also from this uh, link or you can go to the application management and under site collections you can able to create the managed paths. Now we'll discuss about this site templates here. In the collaboration place we can able to see the very first option is team site. Team site is useful to work in a collaboration place which means if you want to work together with the group of people you can create this team site here you can able to create a list document libraries and you can share your list you can share your document libraries you can give a permission to the other colleagues or employees in your organization so this is the best place so most of the most of the time when you're working with the SharePoint and you can you can use these features only major features in the team sites and in the team site we have this uh, list libraries pages option and you can able to create you can able to work simply there we'll discuss deeply when we create this one the next one is blog site so blog sites is a very known word actually if you want to post your ideas your thoughts your observations and if you want to get the feedback from the people then it's a best place to create when you create a blog site it gives you an option to post your ideas so directly we have an uh, option to create your idea with a title with a body section and then we'll have some categories you can you can create your own categories also then you can create your post and you can publish once you publish that and it will be available to the other people to to view and they can able to comment on it and there is a comment section and you can able to see some likes dislikes concepts also in the blog site and this is a developer site this is the best place to build the solutions for example you are developing an app and you want to publish into sharepoint site so you must and should have to create the developer site to host your apps so if you create a, a sharepoint hosted app or auto hosted whatever you create and then that that will publish to this developer site only so developer site will be useful to host the apps the next one is project site it's a kind of project template and if you are working with a 
if you are working as a manager and you want to uh, assign the task to your subordinates maybe you, you are managing three to four projects and you want to keep track all the project statuses from the colleagues or from the employees who are working on that project and this is the best place and this is useful to create the tasks and there is a task list available and there will be a task bar also and you can keep track the status of the modules and you can able to communicate with your colleagues and you can assign the tasks that the tasks will send to the employees and they can reply back to that and how much percentage work it is they are completed and they can enter the information and you can see the bars and you can see you can get the emails regarding the tasks and next one is community site community site is a place where people discuss on a common topic or common interests so which means maybe the people talking about on a SharePoint so we can be able to create a SharePoint community site all the people who are working as a SharePoint developers and they can post their ideas and also they can discuss with other people regarding that now that is a place to discuss about a SharePoint that kind of site is nothing but on a community site using community site and you can able to explore the things explore the ideas and you can able to discuss uh, about an a topic or maybe an a, if you want to get some solution and you can raise a concern and other people can able to participate in that so that kind of site is nothing but an a community site so we'll go to the enterprise templates the very first option is document center we know that sharepoint is a kind of document management system and also you can you can create document sets in the document center you can keep a multiple documents in one place named as in a document set and in the document center we have couple of advantages with this and it will have a unique id for the document and also you'll have some document features inside document center and the next one is in place hold policy center so if you want to manage the policies to preserve the content for an a fixed period of time which means maybe an year example we know that a couple of policies comes or maybe it starts from a calendar year and after that calendar year the policies will change something like income tax related something like budget like that so you can create this kind of policy center and you can store the policies in this particular site the next one is e-discovery center if you have any legal related things and then you can create this e-discovery center see the message aside to manage the preservation search export of a export of content for any legal matters and investigations especially in the organizations we we know the policies if the people is um, people are employees not following the policies and uh, is there any escalation on the particular employee so you can go with this e-discovery it's something like the people um, may may not follow the policies maybe data related policies and so on so so if somebody started investigation on it and uh, they can create this kind of e-discovery centers and they can keep track of those things the next one is record center we discussed about in a document center and this is a record center if you want to manage the records then this is the best place to store your records so it will store all the records and uh, uh, it will uh, restrict the people to do kind of updations or maybe modifications so this is the best place to store the records so again we we have this compliance policy center if you want to uh, keep all the compliance related policy documents and this is the best place policies that can delete the documents after a specific period of time again we have in place hold in, in place hold policy center we have compliance center also and the next one is this is very good uh, site template and enterprise search center if you create this one and this is the centralized place to search for the documents or maybe items from all the web applications here Microsoft given a message under this enterprise search center a site focused on delivering an enterprise wide search experience includes a welcome page with a search box it directly have only one search box in the 
middle of the page that connects users to four search results page experience one for the general scenarios one for people searches one for conversation searches and one for video searches you can add and customize new results pages to focus on their type of search queries that's fine search queries are different but in the enterprise search you can able to search entire farm if you have three or four web applications you have multiple site collections all the information will get back inside this enterprise search center we ha we have my site host and uh, if you want to give a individual site to a individual users and this is a best site a site used for hosting the personal site which means for individual people they can able to host this one so this template needs to be provisioned only once per once per user profile service application please consider okay that's fine we are not configured the user profile service application in this and we'll discuss about that and we can able to create a my site host and we can give an individual sites to the individual users the same as community site we have the community portal and uh, this also useful to this is a kind of portal and this is used to discuss about the communities the next one is basic search center if you want to restrict your search for an a sub site for an a specific site and you want to create the search for that particular site then you can go with the basic search center a site focused on delivering a basic search experience this is again it also contains a search box when you create in the home page so now this is about publishing portal so if you want to create a pages publishing pages or you want to host your kind of news or whatever it is then it's a best place to create that's a publishing portal even we can uh, we can create this kind of feature or we can enable this kind of feature also in the team side that is a sharepoint server publishing features available and then we can activate that and we can see that publishing features also in the team sites and this site can be customized easily with a distinctive branding and it includes a home page sample press release sub site search center everything it contains and this is very useful to publish the pages you can create you can design the pages and you can publish and the next one is this is a kind of wiki site and if you want to write any kind of information on the pages and you want to show to the users with the links with the images all those things same as in a wiki site you can able to create the enterprise wiki here maybe maybe ceo cto kind of people they can write their articles and they can publish and they can other other who are working on the organization they can able to use that wiki site they can able to read the articles from there and coming to the product catalog and this site for managing the product catalog data which can be published to an internet facing site through the search so which means if you want to use this site to publish uh, internet facing pages you can able to use this product catalog and uh, this is about last one is custom and custom here when you open you cannot able to see anything but when you develop something using visual studio and if you publish that uh, site definition into your environment those definitions you will be able to see under custom and of course when you are developing instead of giving a custom you can able to add one more category here and you can keep your site definitions under that or if you are not giving any specific name then those all stores under this custom now this is about what are the different different types of templates available now we'll create a simple team site here so for that i'm giving a name as template template so go to collaboration select team site and uh, enter a primary administrator name spelling mistake okay done so when you click ok it will create a team site the same way if you want to create any other site any other template sites you can able to choose that and here in the 2016 in the 2013 when you are creating a site 
it also shows the SharePoint 2010 experience also but coming to SharePoint 2016 we don't have that option to select the experience of the site you cannot able to select the 2013 2010 but in the 2013 it will give an option to select the SharePoint 2010 experience the UI experience it will give and the functionality also it will give the same kind of functionality when you are creating the site collection in SharePoint 2013 but 2016 we don't have that option Microsoft removed that option from the creating site collection once it creates you can able to create a sub sites as well and we can able to see the sub sites what are the sub site templates is available so meanwhile it's loading we'll see there is another site collection which i already created to create a sub site we have to go back to the site contents when you go back to the site contents it will show all the list and libraries which you created for this particular site collection under that we will see an option named as an a sub site so these all are the document libraries we have when these are the default ones so i'm not created anything new these are the default ones which is created with the site collection now i'm trying to create a sub site here we'll see what are the templates available when you are trying to create a sub site from the team site see i have i'm using this site collection as a team site in the collaboration we can able to see the team side blog site project site and community site in the enterprise we can able to see document center record center and the enterprise search center and basic search we don't have all the site collections which we saw in from the central administration when we are creating a site collection for sub site we have an a limited we have an a limited sub site templates and those only we can able to use when you are creating a sub site so that is about how we can use a template and what are the different kinds of templates available inside sharepoint 2016 thanks for watching my video